Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. As you may notice, I change uh, some style, especially from I start with case study. And here I am going to continue with the multiple choice question too. So I will not answer in this clip next week on weekend. Most probably I will upload answer on the member groups. Uh, from now on, whoever answered to based on the multiple choice question and case study on this one, speci specific on this one, whoever answered correctly to all questions that you have to put under the clip, your answer completely, all of them, uh, I will give access to five clips on, based on your choice. Doesn't matter on master group or member group. And so in this way, um, uh, our member group can have access to at least five uh, master group clips too. Let's do it. On here we have a, a scanning a vessel with the vector probe. The direction of the blood flow is this way and color box Doppler is this pattern. Based on that, you have to tell uh, which color Doppler correct for this scanning. Here question number two to eight. Here we have EKG. Based on the EKG <coughs> and the spot has been uh, marked, pointed, you have to answer all to this question. Where is the diastolic phase from where to where? Uh, where is systolic phase? And uh, pause it, uh, read it by yourself and right answer. Question nine. In a supine understanding, you know the heart orientation and uh, especially right atrium and right ventricular. Right atrium is superior to the right uh, ventricle, right atrium as you can see here. On the RVIT, we, we see usually like that, a little change based on the, your probe. Why we don't see it this way or this way? What is, uh, you have to explain to me why. Here question from 10 to 13. I made it easy for you. I draw and make it to understand and then answer hopefully, hopefully correctly. Here we measure uh, mitral valve inflow. If you, you have to write it down how I measure uh, right mitral, uh, mitral valve inflow technique in the echo, how I, you have to write it down. And then at the systole, we measure blood flow, LVOT and aorta this amount. And again, on this one, you have to mention whatever the technique we measure this volume outflow there. And answer, uh, we measured this amount. Answer to these questions. Imagine our measurement is perfect and correct. Assume that. And patient doesn't have intracardiac shunt. How much is that? Each of them you have to answer. And about the stroke volume, you have to be more accurate. Okay. Next, uh, we, on, on weekend, we will have uh, answer on the member group. Uh, I prefer you put your answer uh, on the, under the clip, but if, uh, because I want to everybody share their thought, but if uh, you are comfortable, you can email to my Gmail too. Up to next time, have a wonderful time.